Could someone please turn off that confounded light? Oh, thank you. Ahem. Now then, I am so looking forward to God's blessings upon this year's Christmas play. But uh, before we begin rehearsals this afternoon, I do have an important announcement to make. Miss Farnsby has asked me to announce that her cat has been missing since yesterday. She would appreciate your keeping an eye out for a... Uh, let's see here, um... um a brown and white striped cat that answers to the name, uh, um, um, Sweetie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie Pie. <laughs> Ahem. And for the cat's safe return, Miss Fonsby is offering a cash reward. <laughs> now places, everyone. Ow! Did you hear that? I could use that cash reward to get my bike. Sid, is that bike all you can think about? What about poor Miss Farnsby's cat? That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> you don't get it. What's not to get? Deliver the cat, pick up the cash. She's happy, I'm happy, Merry Christmas. I think I get it. Oh, that poor cat is out there all alone, probably searching for a warm place to sleep. Uh, Jenny, what are you doing? Rehearsal's about to start. But that poor cat is out there in the cold. I've got to find her. Nuh uh Not if I find her first. But wait, the play. Guys. All have come to see the savior of the world. And action. Hi. Oh. Pop one. Good morning, Miss Farnsby. May I? Oh, how thoughtful. Thank you, Sydney. Uh, Mr. Bixby uh, told us about your cat yesterday. <laughs> uh, you got any details? Well, Sweetie Pie was with me here at the church while I worked on the set decorations for the play. Two students were bringing in some wood for the set that must have been a bit too heavy. Unfortunately, the force of gravity got the better of them and the wood hit the floor with a terrible crash. Poor Sweetie Pie was so frightened that she ran out of the church. Other than my students, she's all that I've got on this earth. I do pray that she's home for Christmas. Well, don't you worry. Sid's on the case. You and Sweetie Pie will be back together sipping eggnog in no time. Oh, and uh, one small thing. Just a formality, really. But uh, there was mention of a reward. Oh, absolutely. And well-deserved for the kind soul that returns her home safely. Uh, just checking. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Hey, where's the fire? I was getting the 411 on Sweetie Pie from Miss Farnsby. Man, I'm so close to that reward, I might even start shopping for a new helmet, too. You do realize that you're interfering with an investigation. Sid, this is not some cop show. It's Christmas. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver. But lately, it seems like the only thing you're cheerful about is getting that reward. Well, what about seeking ye shall... Don't even go there. Look, Sid, you're doing the right thing. It just seems like you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. If you're so perfect, maybe you should have played the baby in the manger. <laughs> right. Uh-oh, Miss Sweet and Innocent is trying to move in on my reward money. Sid, I really don't think that Jenny is... Huh? I wonder what Jenny is talking to Miss Farnsby about. It's like a dream come true, Miss Farnsby. What is, dear? I get to be in a play with Lenny Harris. He's just the kindest, smartest, and most handsome boy of McKinley. Don't you agree? Don't you agree, Lenny? Huh? Uh, sorry? Don't you agree that we should go and look for Miss Farnsby's cat? I thought maybe you and me could use this time to practice for tonight's dress rehearsal. Lenny, how could you think of rehearsals with that poor cat out there in the cold? It's Christmas. Oh, yeah, you're so right. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Definitely, Jenny. I mean, that's what Christmas is. 
all about. Way to go, Lenny. You really know how to knock a girl off her feet. Maybe Sweetie Pie dropped in next door to have a little bite to eat with C. Trixie, whoever that is. <gasps> What's this? DNA. Now we're getting somewhere, huh? Well, it looks like Sweetie Pie may have amused herself with a little recreation. Ooh, either Sweetie Pie is a really big cat, or this dental work belongs to... Trixie! Okay, <laughs> nice Trixie. And that's a good girl. You're a big doggy. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right now, that's far enough. <laughs> You're starting to invade my personal space. Now Trixie, sit. Please? <laughs> Trixie, you don't want to eat me. I'm low fat. Come on now, let's talk about this. You and me, we'll work this thing out. when she's sniffing around new people. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you don't mind, ma'am, but I was doing a little sniffing around myself for missing Cap. Oh, you must mean Sweetie Pie. How nice of you to give your time to help our poor Miss Fonsby. Oh, she's simply heartbroken. Well, I'm glad to help, but the reward sure doesn't hurt either. My goodness, a reward? Well, that just goes to show how much she misses that sweetie pie. Well, what do you mean? Well, uh, Miss Fonsby doesn't really have a lot of money. She doesn't? No, but I guess she's willing to give what little she does have because she loves sweetie pie so much. Oh, it's such a shame about her cat. Yes, ma'am. It is. All right, we're standing straight and tall, boys and girls. Wait just a moment. Um, someone is missing. Hmm, Jenny Calloway. It's not like her to miss a rehearsal. Oh, well, we'll just have to start without her. Gina? Without her? Oh, no, 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 sir, I don't think so. We can't start without her. This is a dress rehearsal. She's Mary. Dressed and ready, Lenny. <laughs> Man, you're Mary supersized. Attention, everyone, eyes forward. What a scary place When you're walking in the dark A heart full of faith But you don't know where to start Searching for home Somewhere that's safe and warm Could there be A place tonight To find a Ooh. 